Bulgaria, a country that abounds in natural beauty, surrounded by the Balkan Mountains, lush green fields of flowers, and the bountiful Black Sea to the east. It is a land of contrast and tradition. Though beautiful in the natural, Bulgaria's spiritual journey has been darkened since the influence of communist rule over the last decade. Under a socialistic government, the Bulgarian people were told to believe that God was dead, replaced by a government that now served all their needs. In 1948, the Union of the Communist Party People's Court accused over 30 prominent religious leaders, priests and pastors of being spies against the government. With no proof, they were convicted and sentenced to prison and hard labor camps for up to 14 years. After the trial, even more pastors, bishops, priests, and even nuns were brutally tortured or executed for their faith because they would not conform. A generation of holy leadership was lost to the Bulgarian people and their culture. The communist agenda was to conform or die with your Bible. Even in this darkness, God's spirit remained. After the fall of communism, a revival broke out in the early 90s that proved that God was still alive in a country of hopelessness. After my pastoring for 12 or 15 years, God called me to be evangelist, uh, to say better, to evangelize my country, uh, because uh, I'm ready for all kinds of orders uh, from, from the Lord. In 1993, after several years of uh, gospel crusades in Bulgaria, after the political changing, we got uh, about three million people attend the crusades. I saw squares full, healed people. I saw how God can change the whole square with unbelievers, just with one song who began to praise and worship people who never hear for the road. I have seen a policeman stand uh, without cops, uh, just like that, from the respect of the presence of the Lord. We, we saw healings, we saw miracles, we saw uh, thousands of people uh, to be touched by the Word of God, and the faith, uh, uh, was born in the hundreds of thousands of hearts. The heart of this evangelistic pastor was to share God's Holy Spirit and love with the people of Bulgaria. But God had a different mission field for Blagovest to evangelize. After uh, my visit in Africa with Reinhard Bonke, I was invited there uh, to take part of his crusade in Kenya. Uh, after I came back, I was so enthusiastic, uh, so blessed, uh, so inspired to continue it, uh, the gospel crusades in Bulgaria. But God gave me a vision um, saying that my crusades in Bulgaria are finished. And God said, I will have a TV ministry in Bulgaria and Bulgarian uh, uh, Christian television, and you have to do this. And uh, it was so strong. I, I, I felt the presence of the Lord. I lost my appetite, I lost uh, my thirst, and for several days, I just thought all about this, because this is the answer for my nation in the next period of time. And I believe that very soon the things will happen. But uh, the vision from the Lord it's like a mountain. You can see and see it's not uh, from, from far away. It's not so big thing, but when you go, begin to go to, to the top, uh, you see it's a bigger, 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 bigger. It's not so easy. 
I expect somebody to send me money to buy cameras and go, but God changed this thing. I don't know his plans. I didn't know what he means uh, uh, behind this vision. But I knew my task. The task was Christian television in Bulgaria. I have no idea how to film with the camera. I knew a little bit, but because God told me, I, I am going. The most important thing is for a person of God to be obedient. And obedient he was. God instructed him to secure a location just outside of Yambol, Bulgaria. His searches led him to a piece of property in the humble gypsy village of Zavoy. Step by step, brick by brick, he and his family climbed the mountain of faith, being guided by the Holy Spirit. With no financial help from churches, donations, or financial partners, he and his wife Katia worked alone to move the vision forward and support their growing family of four daughters. God revealed to him the design for the construction of the facility. Educated as an architect prior to his evangelistic call, he knew how much it would take to build the facility. Blagoves sold his house and additional property along the Black Sea and trusted all he had acquired in life to the Lord. With his obedience, God continued to work miracle after miracle during the construction process. All of the process of uh, construction work here was fully the miracles. We had no, no any kind of good road around. Highway? No. No dream even. But uh, in the last years, uh, something began to happen. The government decided to rebuild our broken road 10 kilometers from, from the city. We were so happy. They built the highway 400 meters. It's a billions of dollars invest. And now we have a, one local good road, one highway to Burgas Sofia, and third one, also millions of dollars from Europe to cabalize this area and the optical cable came across the street of the Bulgarian Christian television and make us able to broadcast, to send the signal everywhere on the world. And the people come and, and they, they, they wonder what's happened. They ask me, you are a very clever man. How you see, saw this? I said, I saw nothing. I just listened to the voice of the Lord and came here. And in the right time, I got a local road, I got a highway, and I got an optical cable. In 2015, God moved the mountain. With the approval and issue of a broadcast license by the European Union, a 165-page application took only 45 days to gain unanimous approval. Bulgarian Christian television is now broadcasting 24-7, proclaiming God's truth to a hungry nation. On the top of the three-story facility is a prominent illuminated cross. The horizontal cross piece is cleverly designed in a 360-degree circle, so no matter at what angle it is viewed, it reveals the cross of Calvary. It is a shining testimony as to what God has done to continue to fulfill the vision he gave Blagovest. I'm so happy that exactly after the, the receiving the license on 15th of April 2015, I have a special team led by the Holy Spirit, a team from United States and Israel uh, coming to support us, help us with equipment, help us uh, uh, with uh, some other things uh, and uh, prayer. And now uh, I feel our family grew up, became a partner, spiritual partners uh, with Big Love uh, in, in, the, in these days. And I'm so happy that I, we are feel not alone. Uh, God is with us but we have a people who stand uh, shoulder to shoulder with us. Uh, and uh, I believe together we got a great future.
In February, I feel like I got this strong word from the Lord. I was seeking direction uh, for, for what to do. And the Lord simply told me, he said, he says, go where you have favor, go where the door is open, uh, and, and go where you are asked. Christy was getting this unction that we need to go see Blago and take a team and uh, help him out with his launching of a Christian TV network. My husband and I have been called by God to help people who have great obstacles and no one else around them. We met Blago in Israel and God spoke to us and we found that he had a great vision for this Christian station. When we heard about um, Bulgaria in the mission trip, there was uh, 12 of us that came over here and it was an amazing time where we saw uh, many things happen and we've seen the people touch uh, in the gypsy villages and we're excited about what God is doing here. I see a revival, I see awakening and, and I'm praying that we will uh, see uh, awakening in this country and uh, there is a lost people here and it's the harvest is ready, the people here are ready. The people in here are ready to be redeemed and they need hope. Everything is set, everything is ready. There is a hunger. We've already touched on the supernatural in the short time that we've been here. It's going to be an incredible, incredible time in this country. And we pray for them and believe God with them for a great overcoming faith here. In Jesus' name. I've been able to spend a lot of time with the youth and the young adults here while I've been in Bulgaria, and it has just been incredible. We got to spend some time after a service, which they were at on a Saturday night. They are committed to God. It was just incredible. And this Bulgarian Christian television station, it will be able to reach youth across Bulgaria, from youth to youth. Change starts with young people. And the children that are growing and these young adults are hungry for God. They are ready and they will change their world. We spent all these weeks with him and reaching out to all these different people groups like the gypsies and so forth while we were there in Bulgaria for two weeks. And it was always focused on the people. It was always about reaching the people. It was always about helping the people. While here, the greatest thing that touched my heart was hearing about the great sacrifice that Blago's parents gave to help start this project. They sold everything they had and gave up their retirement fund and gave it to their son to do a work of God. He's, he's doing so much for this country and people really love him and respect him because he respects them. От малка израснах със видението, което Бог преди повече от 22 години даде на моя баща. I have grown up with the vision God gave my father 22 years ago. He has given everything he has financially, physically, and spiritually to honor God. I know in my heart that this station will bring great revival in Bulgaria. That is why I pray that God will put a desire in people's hearts to support us with love prayers and finances so that we can work together to build God's kingdom in Bulgaria and all of Eastern Europe by bringing people to know the love and salvation of Jesus Christ. <laughs>